Hey YouTube, it's Midget at iPhone Captain. Today I'm going to be showing you some of the new Cydia tweaks for January 2012. Uh, first up is the Intella Screen X. You can see on my lock screen here, it probably looks a lot different than yours does. I have an RSS feed in the top along with the clock. I have the weather and calendar and I have some more apps that I've got notifications from that's apps gone free which tells you some apps that are available for free each, each day uh, I get my Mac Live subscription free app wall is another app and I'm just throwing those in so you'll know what they're about and you can see I've got this uh, SB settings in my notification bar but I don't really need that because I've got it up here at the top in the notification in the IntelliScreen X it's included in it also and I also want you to notice on the screen the little pink icon down here at the bottom that that I can tap that anytime to send a text message to whoever I may want to send one to All right, I just wanted to let you know that that was there also you might notice that my slider is a different color than most of the time it's green and that's a new tweak that just came out today or a couple of days ago and it's called color knob colored knob I know it sounds a little funny but that's what they call it but the only downside of this and I'm sure that the developer will be changing this is you're only able to ch to change the color of the knob to red green or gray now those are some pretty odd colors I like the red also let's put it back on the red and see how nice that looks and also if you look in my slider you'll see that it's got today's uh, day in there well that's that's another city of tweet called slider pro settings and you can change and put anything you want to put in there today's date the time uh, you can change it to 24 hour time you can put uh, January or February the 1st 2011 you can put anything you want to put in there that is one tweak that definitely has plenty settings and you'll see right here look at all the different ways that you can combine uh, hour, minute, short month, hour, too long to write, you can put a smiley face short month, hour, minute, date, month, hour I mean guys it just the list goes on and on and on uh, and, and also it's got what's called a custom string if this were enabled here and I were to respring I think I have to respring turn today's date off let's see if it'll put it in there without respringing it does it puts you, it'll put your name in there it put anything you want to put in there okay let's go back in and what I did is I come down here to custom slider text and I typed it in and guys if I'm not mistaken this is a free tweak I if if I'm wrong you know don't eat me up in the in the comment section but if it's a paid app it's no more than a dollar I don't remember paying you know hardly I pay for all of my tweaks but I don't remember the exact price of that one it's been a, it, I've had that one for a while so it's not fresh off the press like these other ones and like the next one I'm going to show you is called Zephyr look at that how cool that's called Zephyr you can actually go to the previous application that I that I was just in which was Cydia and if I want to go even farther back than that we were in in IntelliScreen before that, so I can go back to that, and I can just keep right on going back. Ever how many apps I've had open since I have shut my phone off or resprung or whatever, it'll it'll keep reloading them up. It, it remembers them all like that. And I, evidently, I was in Cydia there. And here's one that you pull up from the bottom. Well, actually, that's called Zephyr too you pull it up from the bottom to open the multitask see that but now that little favorite here that's not Zephyr that's called super switcher 
this is an awesome app guys but let me finish my Zephyr here uh, inside Zephyr is a multitask uh, what it does is it lets you open the multitask while you're in other applications and you can set it up for your own if you want to if you want a two finger swipe you can do that right here two three four fingers you can do all four fingers if you want to put four fingers on your screen that might be better if it was on an iPad and I don't know if it's working on the iPad yet or not swiping up from the bottom that's what you saw me do earlier and you have to be sure you get to the bottom of the screen or it won't work all right that that opens your multitask for Zephyr that's pull see they're pulling it up from the bottom like that opens multitask now super switcher double tap home all right when I double tap home you see it opened up I got nine favorites on the top and I got my multitask down here at the bottom okay this app is 99 cents. I don't know if it's Big Boss or Mom by I. I believe it's Mom by I. But anyway, the great thing about this app is on the second page, you've got all your SB settings. You've got your brightness. you got your volume. you got your Bluetooth. you got uh, airplane, location, Wi-Fi. you got it all right here. And you can even make phone calls from inside here. You just tap the phone. Tap the mail. It'll open up your mail, a new mail message. Okay. Alright, I've got out of whack here now uh, showing you all the, the, the settings. But that's called Super Switcher. And what you do in Super Switcher is you, you select nine of your favorites when you first start out. And then the multitask bar automatically comes up. And it automatically, it'll, it'll open your internet. You can automatically do a Google search from right inside here. So if 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 I wanted to search for do, for dog, it'll do a it'll do a Google search. I just wanted to show you that it did, that it does work. That was my point. All right, now say we're in here. I want to multitask. Pull up from the bottom. Well, shoot, it's okay. You see, Super Switcher, it opened up for me here. But anyway, I was trying to get Zephyr to open this one. I was trying to get open, and, it, and this is Zephyr you're looking at right there. Let me close them out. I've got so many of them open is what it is. Okay, Super Switcher, you double tap for home. It opens up. you got favorites on top, nine favorites. you got multitask at the bottom. If you swipe all the way to the left, you know you got your music controls. You don't, don't forget that. And, and of course you got your volume you can lock your orientation right here uh, portrait landscape lock and unlock and you can you can open up your uh, iPod application from right there uh, you can do you can do all of that all right that's super switcher 99 cents uh, the slider pro settings I done showed you that and telescreen X is awesome also now inside inside in telescreen X all right if I swipe to the left, you see I'm getting rid of the things that are in my calendar. If I've already read that and I don't want it visible on my screen, I can swipe to the left or I can swipe to the right and it gets rid of it. However I want to swipe, it gets rid of it. That's called Lorem, L-O-R-E-M. All right, that's free. It is a little bit buggy right now, so keep that in mind. That's called Lorem, L-O-R-E-M. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm trying to go over these very fast. I'm already almost at nine minutes. But uh, I was going to try to keep it under ten minutes. I was going to try to run over these as fast as I could. Uh, so we've hit Zephyr Super Switchers uh, Speed Intensifier. If you see that my apps are opening a little bit faster, it's been around the block for a long time. You know, everybody uh, pretty much knows what it is. It gives you a, sc a scale. Uh, top being the slowest, bottom being the fastest, and I'm, at, I'm on the fastest. All right. Um, Lorem, uh, IntelliScreen, Infini Flotation. All right, that's a new one that just come out in the, in the last week or so. What Flotation does is when I open my notification screen, I can tweak how the pull down looks. Okay, you can see that it's it sort of lets it scroll down. All right, I've got it set to look that way. All right, I can change that. Go into 
go into this and say I don't want the say I don't want the darkened screen. Okay, let's pull it down. Now look, it's just a plain page scroll. But if I want it to sort of dim before it goes down, all I have to do is turn this on. All right. That's flotation. That's a new one. It just come out today. Colored knobs, no. Color banner. Uh, if you don't want to tweak the color of your uh, message notifications when they come across the top, or, or your banners are in the middle, you can change that to any color you want. It's got the uh, I don't not any color you want. It's got several different settings. I've got mine set on rainbow. Let me see if I can send myself a tweet over here. If it'll if it'll come through quick enough we'll be able to see it before the video ends I should have had this set up uh, okay all right I seen it and we'll and we'll see here in a minute if it comes across the screen in time well shoot we'll, we'll see if it comes across the screen in time let me do it again what I'm trying to do well what it is I've got my um, Byte, Byte SMS on and I like it better really and that's what's got my um, if you don't know what that is it's that little pink icon right there it's an awesome message messaging app if you don't know anything about it definitely check it out I like it a lot better even than iMessage but iMessage is free Apple to Apple phone so don't forget that that is something to keep in consideration if you are uh, texting long distance especially, you don't want to be paying for it whenever you could be getting it free. Cluck call bar, if, you, if you're playing a game and you don't want to be interrupted, it puts a little strip across the top, of your, in, like, like a little bit wider than your status bar, and you can set it, it's got like a, two little buttons, answer or decline, and it's, it's awesome if you want to use it. That, that's what I like, it's called call bar, and I think it's maybe $2.99, $3.99 or something. But the, those are some awesome apps, guys, that I just went over with you. I hope you like this video. Please, I want everybody out there to subscribe. And, and I want you to come over to iPhoneCaptain.com. And, and most importantly, I need subscribers. I'm already over 800. I'm trying to hit 1,000. When I get to 1,000, I'm going to give something awesome away. I was trying to shoot for an iPod, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, hopefully, I can arrange for that to happen. But there will be some awesome prizes. Every time I get to 100, I'm giving away some iPhone cases, that kind of things where I do all these reviews. I've got plenty of iPhone cases here I'm trying to, uh, and, and to be registered to, to uh, win one. All you got to do is just to leave a comment over on iPhone Captain and a comment here to be registered to win. Okay, I've been saying just leave it on, on uh, YouTube, but for the next uh, winner, when we get to 900, you have to have left a comment on iPhone Captain and a comment on YouTube in order to win. Both places. I know that may be a little aggravating, but I'm trying to get my traffic up at iPhoneCaptain.com too, so I hate to put you out. But there's a lot of good tweaks right there. It's taken me months and months to put that together. You got it in about 12 or 13 minutes, so you ought to be appreciative of that. And, I, and, and just give me a subscribe is all I'm asking. Thanks a lot, guys. And now, one more thing before I go to remember, don't forget, subscribe, and keep coming back.